The what one? Oh, the Fallout one. Yeah. Uh, so I was thinking we go Mayan City and then the zombie crabs and then autism because then it sort of breaks it up because I think, I think Shane, you're kind of going to get lumped with the Mayan City one anyway because you said it first in Slack that you yeah, wanted to I talk don't about really it. Understand. <laughs> huh? oh, I don't really understand it. Okay, fine. You don't have to understand the theory so much. I think all we need to do is say this is what happened. So he, the theory was he... After hours of, spent of poring over diagrams of constellations and maps of known Maya cities, he noticed that the two appeared to be linked. The brightest stars of the constellations overlaid perfectly with the locations of the largest Mayan cities. Right. That was so his theory. Lucas can read that bit out when it comes to it. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm lost already. <laughs> nah, I'm not joking. Um, yeah. Well, you just need to say this is... He came up with this theory. He looked and he found and he got the Canadian Space Agency somehow to take some satellite photos of it. And there was a square, and so everyone thought that was a pyramid. And it's a fucking marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? No, it was just a field. Oh, that would have been awesome. Go on. I yeah, really no, no. wish that was the well, story. It's, it's apparently a fallow. Well, it looks like could a fallow. It's plant. probably north. But anyway, <laughs> it's as likely to be a marijuana plant as it is a pyramid. Shall we say that? <laughs> That's cool. Actually, it's probably more likely. Anyway. Anyway. We'll figure out a way to talk about this. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that no other scientist had ever discovered this correlation. That seems very odd to me, considering it was such a known thing with things like the, the pyramids at Giza. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, and like I said, he's probably wrong. But full credit to him for coming up with a theory, hypothesis, people are going to yell at me, and actually going and getting it looked at and investigating yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And if you then find out that it's wrong, so what? You've as still said, learned a hell of a lot just by doing that. It's true. As I said, the problem is, as you know... Everyone else believes... Ooh, it. new main city! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> that is exactly So they sound it. like Muppets. Pretty <laughs> much. They are Muppets. You know this. Many, many, many. Mip, mip. Um... And then we might jump to Penny and the Dinosaurs, which sounds like an awesome band. <laughs> it does. It's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it's a bit like Josie and the Pussycats, but it's just a more uh, modern and upbeat. Well, cooler. <laughs> I was going to say cooler. Uh, oh. All right. Are we ready? Sure. Penny? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. I was just like quietly being ready. <laughs> Uh, it's good. I just asked for feedback and only got half the feedback I was looking for. I was like, what? This is episode 212 for Sunday, the 31st of January, 2015. Shit. It's 2016. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You're going to do this every year, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still writing 2015 on everything as well. See, I haven't yet. <laughs> I've been pretty good. But anyway. I have once or twice in my lab book, but I think I'll figure it out. Hello and welcome to episode 217 of Science on Top. Today is Sunday, the 6th of March, 2016. Glad I don't have to keep saying February all the time. I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Dr. Shane Joseph. Hello. I'm Ed Brown and today I'm joined by Lucas Randall. <laughs> I'm trying to click on mute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's, let's try that again, oh, yeah. shall we? Are we all ready to start? Mm -hmm. Hello, and... Talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing this, the supermassive black hole thing. Yeah, I read it. Uh... All right, well, are we ready? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello and what was that? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? We, we I was starting a, and I heard hello? someone. You, you someone were, start, you were starting noise. off with a laugh and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, Christ, geez. dude. I'm going to mute so I don't laugh. <laughs> I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Dr. Shane Joseph. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading, I got distracted. Start again, sorry. You got distracted. Right, we're five seconds in. <laughs> I know. I was reading the article and I was just sort of, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Muppet. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit harsh. <laughs> no, it's not actually. It really isn't <laughs> harsh at all. Um, okay. <laughs> 
you know what? I might just start it all again. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And Dr. Shane Joseph. Get it. And nay, we'll be to nay. <laughs> nay, we will not. <laughs> <laughs> it was tonight and today mixed into one. Yeah. That's like when I call people dud, which is a mix of dude and bud together. Yeah. <laughs> you actually done that? Oh, yeah, multiple times. <laughs> hey, dud. <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. That's, uh, that's really, yeah, not the desired effect. Oh, my, uh, my friend and colleague uh, once sent an email where you know how people just sign off with regards. He, he sent an email just yep. telling these people off for doing something really, really dumb, and he signed off accidentally with retard. And oh, no. <laughs> it's like, you know, you shouldn't have done it this way. You should have done it that way. Retard, Jason. No. And I come back and go, oh. wow, bit harsh. <laughs> and politically incorrect as yeah. well. All right. We'll, we'll try that bit again, shall we? Mm. Science on top for Sunday the night. Dip, fuck shit. Balls. <laughs> Sunday the 17th of July. All right. Try that again. Hello and welcome to episode 238 of Science on Top. Oh, Sunday actually, before, the... before you go Fucking on. Fucking hell. Before you go on, I just... I just... <laughs> I'm just realising that you keep calling me a microbiologist and I'm not really... It's not really fair to keep calling me that because I'm not a microbiologist anymore. See... I used to call you a former microbiologist, and you got really upset. Don't say, well, don't, still there. Yeah. Don't say former. <laughs> just don't say anything at all. Just say, just I don't know. Fuck, Doctor Shane Joseph. That'll do. Because <laughs> I'm not actually a microbiologist anymore, and I haven't been for years. For what it's worth, I was just going to call you Doctor Shane Joseph, and I wasn't going to give you oh. the intro. But now I never, ever, ever will. Okay, cool, <laughs> good. I'm glad we're on the same page then. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do it just to piss you off one day. Mm-hmm. I'll, and then I'll stop the fucking show like I did this thing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, continue. Hi, I'm Ed Brown, and I'm joined by Dr. Shane Joseph. Good night. <laughs> you forgot what? to say hi, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. Do you want to start again? <laughs> no. I'll just say hi. There. I'm... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is going to be a long show. And coming up, we've got a newly discovered moon around a distant dwarf planet, plants that use ants to defend them, and the child rearing habits of large di- <gasps> Oh my god! Fuck! You alright? Pet? Well, that was. Sorry. That doesn't sound good. Not how I expected this to go. Pen, you alright? Just wait. That really didn't sound good. No. That was a someone just dropped the baby scream. That's kind of yeah. Oh shit, it's gone. That's even worse. Is that a mouse? It's gone. Something she was working on? I don't know. I'm really hoping Penny just discovered her wine is in. <laughs> <laughs> I know it won't be she's breastfeeding, but I really hope that that's what it was. Yeah. Um, hey, isn't it good that we're not doing this live? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There'd be a whole lot of fans sort of I, hanging, yeah, hanging for the true. next moment. <laughs> just, it's, Time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be back in a minute after this short, this short message. Having technical issues. Oh, God. I'm actually feeling quite anxious to know what is wrong. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. Seriously. Hmm. Um, I don't know what we do. How's how's everyone's weekend going? Yeah, busy. (laughs) I spent most of the day playing around with various... um, Various emulators on an old Raspberry Pi of mine so I could play old mate. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's on the fucking power cord. What? What? What the hell is going <gasps> on? What did I do? Oh, I don't know. Can you open the blind? Yeah. On the oh power cord. It's got to be, it's gotta be a <gasps> moth, snake, Oh, yeah. Oh, is that a huntsman? Oh, it's a I spider. It's a spider. Ah. It's a spider. Fucking spider. Okay. <laughs> that makes... <laughs> 
fucking going in the bloopers. <laughs> oh man, this is. I, I'm I'm very relieved. Yes. What yes. spider is that? How big is this fucking spider? Seriously, it must be a huge okay, bastard. Have that jump off. <sighs> Even I'm not that arachnophobic. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, like... That's yeah. Does it have a red back? No, it's got like. A white thumb. It's a white tail. White it sounds tail. like a white tail. No, I don't think it's a white tail. Not a white tail. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll look the comments. I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> I'm so glad that all these catastrophic scenarios that we had going through our minds. Oh, did, did, did I tell you guys about the, uh, the other night when a mouse ran up my leg? Oh, I'm not even kidding you. A mouse ran up my fucking leg the other night. Uh, we can't it's, got Bryce. it's got Bryce! It's got Bryce! angry. It's angry? <laughs> my God, how many, how many hits has this thing taken? <laughs> it's fucking Robo Spider. Fuck it up. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I know. It's right. Sure, there was only one. The spider just opened the glass door. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I love Penny going, I'm sure there was only one. <laughs> they hunt in packs, Penny. They do. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hi. Are you alive? Yes, we're good. We've been hearing the best thing ever. Oh, shit, did you hear it all? Yeah, of course we heard yeah, it all. And, <laughs> and to be honest, we were a bit worried for a while because we had no idea what had happened. What we, we heard was, oh, shit, drop. and then dead silence for three minutes where we're going, yeah. what the hell's going on? Followed by, <laughs> it's on the power cord. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. And they heard me we say, we oh, shit, and it disappeared for like five minutes. And then they heard us like talking about catching the spider. <laughs> and then, yeah, and, okay. uh, and we were imagining like this dinner plate sized spider hanging on the phone. Oh, I was anyway. <laughs> it was more like, I don't know, it wasn't huge, but it was a very nasty looking spider. Well, right. you'll be pleased to know that you've generated Sorry. the most suspenseful blueprint we've ever had on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was actually a shock. We were like we were sitting there going, "What the fuck is going on? Is she all right? Oh my god, did someone drop the baby or something? Holy crap!" It sounded really bad. It whatever did. it was, it, it was really did. Bad. It was really bad. No, but it sounded worse than what it actually was. It sounded like something had seriously happened, especially when you went, "It's gone." Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" Sorry. Oh. I'm right. sorry. No, that's good. That has got the blood pumping and fired us up for this show now. <laughs> and and uh, as I said, honestly, the other night you missed this penny, but a couple of, uh, I think it was last weekend. Yeah, it was it was last Sunday. I was I walked to the cupboard in a half days to get a bag out to put, to put in the bin like a bin liner, and a mouse ran out of the cupboard and ran up my fucking leg. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, up my pajama leg, and I, I, oh my I just god. lost my shit. I like, I yelled so freaking loud that the dog. Did you scream, Shane? I did scream. I have no shame in admitting this. I screamed like a stuck I pig. Died. I seriously, it felt like a rat. It was that bloody heavy, and <laughs> you know what a rat feels like. It anyway. was heavy and big and hairy. Okay, <laughs> and it ran up my goddamn leg. All I was thinking is, I almost like you dead, gaining my balls, or I will. <laughs> <laughs> Was this really an accident or was this just another practice at your party trick? Your infamous mouse in the pants party trick. That's no mouse. I don't even know how to go there. What the fuck? Where's your mind going, you filthy fucker? Seriously. <laughs> so, well, well, anyway, I'd... about that show. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, anyway, I'm just still getting flashbacks about that fucking mouse. <clears throat> I, don't, I, I think I should just start from the start. Might be yeah, better. Sorry. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> By the way, people, that was a white tail spider and it has a spider bite on his bum and now I'm really worried. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. It'll be anyway. fine. Uh, uh, we, we get a lot of those here. Yeah. Myself and my kids have been bitten many times. They're, yeah, they just swell. 
The, the yeah, I think can hang around for a few days. Their reputation is worse. Definitely. Than yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, yeah. Yeah. I, I think like, some people have got really bad allergies to yeah. them, but they're rare. I, I've been bit, uh-huh. I think I've been bitten by one once, and it was just like the big swelling, a hard swelling in the middle, and that was it. Yeah. Like it, it hurt, but it wasn't particularly nasty. So. Yeah. Okay. Because I thought they you anyway. No, the, the, no, 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 no. There's a reputation for them having, you know, causing like gangrenous freaking yeah, 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 yeah. 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 bacteria yeah. on their stuff. Things. And nah, <laughs> I think that happened a couple of times, you know, and it wasn't particularly. Well, it's never been proven. Yeah. No, anyway. Yeah, no, exactly. And it's it's thought that they probably were allergies. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, okay. Yeah. So this is good, actually. Hygiene hypothesis. This is exposure at a young age. <laughs> you may end up. Yes. Developing a resistance and it might be a problem. Yes. I'm serious. It's probably yeah, no, no, no. might turn into Spider Man. I know, I know. <laughs> you might turn into... he, he does like Spider Man. He's got a Duplo Spider Man. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Alright. Okay, so as a Okay, so as an anxious mum, I can just like chill. Yes. Probably. Chill. Yeah. Chill. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously, an obviously mum, you, you, you know, you kill the spider when you see it because they're evil eight legged freaks and they should die. But oh, yeah. I chucked it I chucked it outside. Right. Because no, because it's we've got carpet and it was quite squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, cool. No, anyway. white tails in our house do do meet a grizzly end when because they they go wandering at night yeah. and they're, they're primed for standing on. I had one in bed with me once. Oh god! Oh, god. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. sound like that. That sounded so wrong. Sounded like a Kirk thing. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, we have interspecies. We have gone to another no, I, planet I, to I, find a new. <laughs> anyway, she had eight legs. <laughs> Seriously, are we are we aiming for bloopers here or something? Because this is, I can take one third of this and put it straight in the I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Lucas Randall. Hello. Clinical nurse consultant, radiation oncology trial coordinator and budding ethicist, ethicist <laughs> person who likes ethics, it's Joe Benamu. <laughs> Hi, Ed. I'm sorry. That's the longest introduction you've ever given me. You know what? Every single time we do the show, well, your you intro it. gets longer. And that's purely because your job title gets longer. <laughs> and we're also yeah. joined by someone who all I want for Christmas is for it to not be Christmas. It's Dr. Shane Joseph. <laughs> G'day, Ed. And everyone. How are you? I'm actually a little more relaxed about Christmas this well, I was until I went to Savers today and had to sit in the stand in the queue and listen to horrible canned Christmas music for half an hour, and then I became enraged. Anyway, enraged. So you <laughs> haven't yet learned to like shove, you know, stuff in your ears so you don't have to listen well, to it. I used to. And They're I called, called headphones, I think. Yeah, yeah stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go to stuffs stuff, anything yeah. handy, <laughs> anything nearby in your ears. <laughs> The only way I get through ever going to a shopping mall is to have my headphones in the entire time. As I said, uh, this time I I thought I'd be in and out very quickly, and I wasn't, so it was just horrible. Anyway. Science on top for all your shopping tips. (laughs) (laughs) We've had two detections now of ripples in space-time, which could lead to a whole new method of astronomy. And he's gone. Who's yeah, gone? Yeah, dude, I missed that whole intro. You, you are. You oh, went, fuck everything. Your intro. Fuck, heard, fucking two everything. two of, and then dribble, dribble, <laughs> blob, 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 dribble, dribble, nothing. Should we, Actually, should to be fair, that's all I said. Should we to see if that works any better? Yeah, yeah all right. Maybe we should. Um, Just give it a shot. Is this his pants? All right. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's pretty I'm going to have to hang up on Joe in Zencaster as well. Um, Skype, yeah. Skype is going to hold on to this as long as it can. You're going to have to what? You're going to have to what? Fuck you all. <laughs> I'll talk to you in now. Slack and on Facebook. I'm hanging up on this fucked up call. And on the show today, we'll be talking about an ambitious plan to probe a neighbouring star system and pregnant dinosaurs. But first... It just sounds dirty when you put it that way. Yeah, probing, pregnant. (laughs) Wow. See, you guys have dirty minds because I didn't even think of that. And now I can't stop thinking of that. Uh, But actually, Penny, perhaps you can help me with a problem that I'm having. Because I really want to (laughs) help... Segue. (laughs) You've interrupted the script, okay? And you keep interrupting the script. (laughs) Sorry. Lucas is so not sorry. 
<laughs> was it? Did I give it away? <laughs> yeah, the sorry kind of let it slip. Okay. Marcos, just edit that out. <laughs> nah, Marcos, keep it in. It's gold. <laughs> Actually, just a side note. Can I just go <laughs> a, a throw a shout out to Steve Payne, who, um, the, as you as you recall, Ed, we were over at his house. We had a lovely meal the other week, and um, on the next morning, I was walking. Steve and I went to breakfast, and we were walking past this place, and he goes, "See that place there? Yeah. This building is in a strange shape because the Anarchist Club of Victoria." And I've gone, "Well, hang on a second. <laughs> the Anarchists have a club? Can you imagine the meetings of that club? <laughs> just the fact they even have a club. Anyway." Shout out to Steve. G'day, Steve. Um, where was I? <clears throat> right. Um, so this, uh, obviously... God knows. We, th- hey? God knows where you were. Who knows? It's totally unrelated, but this brings up this debate that I've had with my wife for years, that there are actually, in fact, human-sized penguins. And there aren't, but she's convinced that there are. No, there's big penguins. Like, I guess a little... Emperor huge. penguins are big, but how penguins. big are we talking? Like how tall? I, I know these king are, are these are these king penguins. These get up to a meter tall, right? How big do emperor penguins get? Just so I can. I hear the sound of a giggle. <laughs> Just so I can end this debate with my wife for once. But and like, all. on average, one point one meters. Tall. Okay, fine. So it's still not man size. Thank you, or human size. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, well, they're pygmy penguins. Yeah, but those children don't count. Children aren't really humans until they get to a certain age. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is getting edited out. <laughs> no, it's not keeping it. <laughs> well, there you go. Did you ever think to oh Google it before, it, Shane? Or? I did, but then I, while, while I was here, I thought maybe I could get it on the record. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to point to this podcast as the uh, as, as the yes, record of yes, fact. I okay. will. I That's will. Cool. As no doubt many people do when uh, solving disputes and uh, <laughs> yeah. catching in on bets. <laughs> ah, see, here's this, here's this podcast that proves it. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't don't do that. Don't rely on us. Do your own research. Look it up on Wikipedia, like I did. Um, <laughs> uh, there's also kind of secrecy with this kind of um, geo. Uh, political scientific data um, because in the Vice article they talk about an issue that's been having during the Cold War days of gravity maps and mapping the different gravities and diff- uh, strengths in different parts of the oblate spheroid that we live on and how because a missile takes into mm. effect the strength of gravity in its targeting systems governments were really reluctant to let that sort of data become public and known outside of their political borders um of course pol- politics infiltrates everything even science is that still the case though or is that data now more freely available uh don't know wasn't clear in the article okay i suspect by now we're pretty good at bombing things so i suspect we've gotten over that hurdle <laughs> yay <laughs> <laughs> Shane, he found what appear to be man-made structures, and the story immediately went viral. Tell us all about these Mayan pyramids that he found. (laughs) And that's the whole story. (laughs) Or don't. Look, you don't want to? That's fine. We'll move on. So, Lucas. (laughs) How about them crabs? (laughs) Hey, out of context, that sounds bad. Uh, Hey, Shane. (laughs) Is Shane there? No, Shane's got a string of pearls. (laughs) (laughs) He's got a pearl necklace. I can see it flashing. It's dribbling from his chin, so to speak. (laughs) What? Uh, Nothing, nothing, no, nothing. Um... What is all that rattling and and popping? I thought Um, it was Lucas, and then I muted him, and it kept happening, so... Yeah, no, not, not me, because I'm me. talking. Um, I, I meant Shane. I thought I needed a Shane, yeah. you've gone really echoey. You are echoing a lot, yeah. Shane. Are you down in, and reporting live from the LIGO <laughs> experiment, Shane just... <laughs> no. You're still oh, echoing. Oh, <laughs> and it, it only happened while we started recording, so whatever you did, <laughs> um, undo it. Is that better? No. 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 <laughs> So, Dyson's f***ing... I'm not reading the intro out again because I've done three different versions already. Um, Hello. Hello. 
What? Why what are we all saying hello? Because you went all wonky you again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wonky. You're wonky. <laughs> You're wonky. You're all wonky. I'm wonky. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, this... Marcos, you don't actually have to do anything for the bloopers episode. Just upload this yeah. and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> It was. Oh, definitely, yeah. I love, yeah, that was fantastic. If, yeah. if there's one thing that unites everyone in Australia and around the world, really, it's mosquitoes. <laughs> and hatred thereof. Yeah. yeah, that's right. There's, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, even though sometimes I'm embarrassed to raise it, there's, uh, <laughs> it's a it's a guaranteed conversation starter whenever you say that you work with mosquitoes. There's, I've never met someone who doesn't have a question that's been, uh, that's been burning to ask an entomologist. You, you must almost hate going to barbecues because everyone will be wanting to, oh, gee, I just got bitten. What, what do I do to stop this? It says, oh, here we go again, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look, I'm often told that uh, uh, you people need to invent a better mosquito repellent. Uh, like that, yeah, so, yeah, I'm sure. Um, yeah, you people, <laughs> and they're usually the people who, uh, uh, you know, who, you know, I had a neighbour who used to was complaining to me for weeks about how mosquito repellent doesn't work anymore, and that uh, mosquitoes are resistant to it. And then we we're over there for a barbecue, and he basically just sprayed the mosquito repellent in the air and let his kids run around underneath it and thought that was oh. going to give them enough protection. So Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no, that'll just get in their eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. An interesting story behind it itself, uh, which is known as, as W first, which is the, the um, wide uh, field infrared space telescope. I would argue it should be W Fist, but uh, anyway, that's that's <laughs> by the by. I guess W Fist sounds a little bit more um, a little wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but anyway. But let's start with talking about the Europa Clipper mission and what it is. Yep. Do you please. want me to do that? What are you doing? Yes, please. <laughs> that was what I was. Sorry, I, that was my lead in. We Didn't thought you'd work. had a stroke or something. No, no, I, d- I was waiting for you to explain it. I was like, oh, he means me. Um, <laughs> yes, Europa uh, Clipper. So, right, and and that's what we saw. What was measured in September, wasn't it? It was a. It was two very large. Well, I'm going to start that all again. Peter, have a listen to this. And I don't have the clip lined up like I was going to. <laughs> Everyone, just hold your horses for a second. Fuck We're it. professional. It was all ready, and then I had to quit everything because it decided to stop. <laughs> um, and it, uh, Marcos, edit this out. Well, <laughs> uh, don't, can... Marcos, because it's hilarious. <laughs> Well, we need to have something for the spoilers now that we're all professional. Well, I, I've really. got Queen somewhere on my iTunes, if you want. Yep. <laughs> what? Not. Did you just say you've got beats on iTunes? Queen. Oh, Queen. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you're going to play, right? <laughs> so, I am. I am, yes. You've seen through my cunning plan. Mm. Surprising all news. I'm nearly ready. It's okay. Stop panicking. No, I'm uh, not panicking. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which song were you going to play? A uh, bit of Under Pressure. Oh, okay, I haven't got that. Do you want me to check? It's okay. Seriously, I've got the... <laughs> I'm all lined up. Relax, everybody. <laughs> oh, all right. Sorry. Cool. Let's try that all again, shall we? Marcos, we're ready now. <laughs> Been a big week for Tony... St- uh, sorry, Elon Musk. Firstly, he revealed on Twitter... <laughs> Iron Man, Tony Stark. Anyway. <laughs> uh, a bacterial infection or a viral infection and then treat accordingly. Um, so that could be a... a, um, a what? Oh, I thought you were, I thought that was your segue. So, someone to talk. <laughs> it was about to be a segue. <laughs> but I was trying, as I was talking, I was thinking, how do I make this a segue? Um <laughs> Now I can't remember what I said. Uh, I don't know. Someone say something. Someone talk about it. Yeah. You're all um, fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> are, you take, are you taking this job or am I uh, taking I'll it? I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, good. Cool. Thanks. Um, 
I thought that was a really cool thing because so many GPs will just yeah, prescribe hello, antibiotics Ed, because you... you have some sort of ailment. Ed, sorry, Fuck. you're cutting Every out time again. I do an intro. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even really. do an intro without a cutting. Anyway, hello. Yes. Yeah. Can anyone hear? Yes. You? I can hear you. You're just sort of you're going in and out. But if you've got the recording on your end, yeah, I do. But it's now you can't, we, split. We can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. 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 Anyway, mm. what was I saying? Um, <laughs> we heard the fuck. Fuck. <laughs> But first, Penny, perhaps you can help me with a problem that I'm having. Because I really want to help scientists do some important work. But the trouble is, I also like spending all of my free time looking at adorably cute penguins on the internet. So how can I combine my two favourite pastimes? Well, Edward, I'm glad you asked. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank God Shane's not here. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want to tell us about the barnacle that's turning Atlantic king crabs into zombies? I'm quite a fan of the Deadliest Catch. I've been watching that show <laughs> okay. for many, many years. So I, I do enjoy it. So I, I've seen a lot on the screen of Alaskan king crab um, mm. or blue crab. They're, they're also called. So these crab are freaking huge. They're, I said Atlantic king crab, didn't I? They're not, they're not Atlantic. They're, okay. they're, um, they're actually in the Alaskan... Um, uh, side of the um, the sea. What's the sea up there called? Uh, I've got a mental block. Pacific Ocean. No, it's above that because it's above the Aleutians. It's. Um, uh, I, I don't care. I'm just going to do my uh, introduction again and call it a sla- a, a Alaskan king, <laughs> not Atlantic king. Atlantic. Sharp word. As- hard. Aslan. Arcos. Arcos. <laughs> <laughs> now are you going to do it later? Are you going to do the intro now or later? Now. Okay. And we're going to start from Bering start. Sea. Bering Sea, that's the one. All Good. Right. All right, Lucas. No, you were just talking to Lucas. Yes, I'm Lucas. Oh, I got distracted. I was reading the, the things and then I clicked links and anyway. It's just, so I did before you laughed us. at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Michelle is right to uh, suggest that we look into this more because there have been a number of successful biological controls that we've introduced like the Cactoblastus eactorum. No, Cactorum. Can't read them. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> In future, Cacto- I'm not going to introduce stories on the fly. Cacto- I'm actually Blastus going to do Cactorum. some preparation. How's that? There you go. <laughs> um, which was introduced in 1926. It's a moth that was introduced to control the prickly bear. <laughs> prickly pear. <laughs> prickly pear. <laughs> this has all gone horribly wrong. Now I have this image in my head. <laughs> the image in my head now is fucking classic. <laughs> No, Australia used to be just infested with bears. <laughs> with spikes. <laughs> That's where the fucking drop bear thing came from. <laughs> the fucking prickly bears. Uh. <laughs> Ed, you totally need to do stories for fly more often. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I thought this would be a great way to end the show. I'll address some feedback. We'll do a few <laughs> stories of uh, success stories and fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. No, continue. Okay. I've got this list in front of me, Ed, so, yeah. Fuck it. You do it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Um. I mean, I have to admit I was a little bit... Okay, Charlie Bear, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come and get the dog, please? <laughs> it's for your own good, because you'll have to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Hang on. It's all right. Getting the okay. wife of our audio editor on was probably one of the better decisions I've made. <laughs> This is all your problem, Marcos. (laughs)
You married her. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's all right. He's sitting on my lap now. I think we're good. Marcos or the bear? <laughs> it's not a bear. Not he's a bear. Oh, no. shit. Marcos is not is sitting on my bear? lap now. <laughs> Neither Marcos nor the dog are bears. Yeah, come and, come anyway. and, come and t- take him. <laughs> take him. Marcos is a bit take of a bear. Him. <laughs> he is. Take him. If he comes uh, down, anyway. I'll put him on my lap. All right, we're good. So is there actually anything in this, Joe? Um, I, hang on. Okay. <laughs> Just wait. Whoa, babe, go upstairs. We're done. We're ready. What? Penny, you weren't planning on going to bed at yeah. all tonight, were you? I'm it's so tired. It's harnessing the body's immune system. <laughs> Oh, you're right. You're right. You Give me the dog. And we're good to go. <laughs> Marcos made the point that he Charlie Bed barks at the TV, and Marcos is playing at the moment, so he just have barking the whole way through. All right, he All can right. edit that out. Let's go. <laughs> uh, it also says this recording is finished on my end, so I don't know what the hell that means. Hmm. Okay, yeah. what well does... What do you want to do, Ed? Soldier on, and if the episode's <clears throat> fucked, then we'll do it again another time or something. Cool. But whatever that high-pitched noise is, it would be annoying. <laughs> Just to mess with us. Okay. I don't know what that was, but... Alright. Alright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was disturbing. Don't do that again. Don't... Don't know who it was or what it was. It was you breathing heavily. <laughs> With your mechanical breathing. <laughs> I take no responsibility for any of this. You sound uh, great. It's you cha- do. It's because cha- Charlie Bear's... Everyone except for Shane sounds great. And you're on the top of your yes. router. There's <laughs> 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 a reason Marcos, it's called Science on really Top. really sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm not sorry, this is great. What, this is a what I can't believe is that he's yeah. sitting upstairs hearing all of this and I haven't heard him once <laughs> go, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't believe I'm going to have to deal with this. Yeah, because he knows if he does, he's going to have to edit that out too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's sitting there grinding his teeth right now, just going, shh, 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 I'm Ed Brown and I'm joined by Dr. Shane Joseph. Hello. And Penny Dumsday. Hello. Shane, stop clicking. Sorry. <laughs> the, the clicking is... You're not using your headset, are you? Yeah, I am. Is it getting the sound from the I headset? Wanna, yeah, it is. I'm, oh, is wait a minute. Every time you click on your Keep touchpad, speaking. I'm talking. I'm still talking. Can you hear I'm, me click here? Yeah, it's only no, coming through I haven't through heard the, you click, Penny. It's only coming through the headset. It's not coming through anything else. I'm clicking now. Oh, I can hear are that. You, yes. Are you, using a, are you using a headset, Penny? Mm, yeah. Okay, so how, that's yeah, but that sounds. Well, Penny sounds more distant, like she's using a mouse or something. Yours is that. That was that's what I was doing. Yeah, and it's noticeable. Try not to. <laughs> oh, I, I was just checking the time. That's all. <laughs> how come well, that can pick that up? That's really kind of scary. Yeah, that's what made me think it was maybe so, built. So into if the I mouse. fart, it's going to come through. This is terrible. This is frightening. <laughs> have you fun to, editing this, Marcos. Do you want to start that again, or sorry? <laughs> no, I'm just going to. Roll straight on. Hey. Okay. Effectively, really. Sorry. Which I think is uh, as good a lead in as any to talk about the study that suggested Dyson. Ha- mosquitoes. Can anyone yeah, else hear that, like that mosquito? mosquito <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. I just heard. I just heard silence. <laughs> <laughs> that was coming from, yeah. I was uh, muted, so it definitely wasn't <laughs> me. Charlie. <laughs> yeah, Charlie Bear. Is that Charlie Bear? Stop farting into the microphone. Um, <laughs> he, he, he was on my lap, and now he's gone. So I can log out of Skype now, can't I? Yes. Oh can. yeah. yeah. Yes, please yeah. uninstall it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Download it onto a USB drive and piss on it, and then burn it. I don't really. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much mental imagery before the show begins. This brings a whole new meaning to water sports. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in high spirit. 
on our last show of the year. Uh, okay. Hello and welcome to episode... Oh no, now I've got the giggles. <laughs> this is not good. Get Mark us in, he'll understand. No. <laughs> we'll probably mute our microphones then, shouldn't we? We're all good. Where a study led by Misha Leong, an entomologist from the California Academy of Sciences, has surveyed the houses... The oh, I'm going to start that again because I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have something for the bloopers. Yeah. Has surveyed over 50 houses in and around the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Utsi, the spectacularly well-preserved human found in 1991 in the Italian Alps, uh, and he was wearing a leather coat and a fur hat. Possibly uh, that was all the rage 5,000 years ago. <laughs> and now new generic... <laughs> Might start that sentence again. Get away from me a bit. A worker, you know, fiddling with a camera or something. You (laughs) click on human. Lucas, stop. (laughs) What's wrong? Okay. Nothing. (laughs) We should record with drunk Lucas more often. (laughs) Go on. (laughs) I don't dare. Well, yeah, I mean, flies are a huge problem, which is why we have corks dangling from our hats all the time (laughs) here in Australia. Yes. As we hide our kangaroo down the road. (laughs) With our giant knives. And also, look, what? Giant knives. Oh. (laughs) Just something about our junk. (laughs) What? A junk. Dude. Wow. Uh, Good luck with this, Marcos. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But the idea that, you know, we could use this test in um, as a diagnostic tool in itself you know and and in, and 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 in the um and in the uh fucking hell brain's not working tonight marcos <laughs> so, yeah thank you marcos um little system the national what is it oceanic, national oceanic, oceanic, oceanic. A, something something <laughs> i associate no i had it i just had it written down in front of me Sorry, Marcos. Uh, <laughs> Where is it? Uh, Office of Oceanographic something. Oh, where is it? No, fuck it. It's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That's right, because it's like NASA. But yes. NOAA. But yeah. in the sea. But not. <laughs> okay, now where was I? Yeah, so to fully appreciate this, you need to watch the video, which is from... NOAA or N O A A, the National Oceanic. <laughs> <laughs> Something. <laughs> uh, okay, do you want to National write it down Oceanic and <laughs> Atmospheric <laughs> Administration. What? National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Thank you, okay. beautiful assistant Lucas. <laughs> 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 From the NOAA, which is the National Ocean Ocean. and Atmosphere. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to start somewhere else, okay? Let's just forget. Just call them Sequest. Sequest? <laughs> yeah, it's basically from Sequest DSV. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. To appreciate this jellyfish. But if you uh, get around daytime during the day, that's when I think they're operating because Mariana Trench is just north a bit yep. of Australia. Did you just say if you get daytime during the day? Yeah, probably. Okay. That's right. Marcos, <laughs> <laughs> make me sound intelligent. Hey, Penny, the name is right at the beginning of the video, by the way. I know, but <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> and it's written down in front of my, I don't know. Anyway, it's been a long yeah. weekend. <laughs> Subramanian Ramaswamy at uh, the Institute for Stel- Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. So you managed to Bangalore, pronounce his name India. right, but you managed to muck up the Institute of Stem Cells. Or cell, stem cell Sorry, what did I muck up? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. <laughs> anyway. That showed you. Say, say that again, Ed. Uh, Subramanian Ramaswamy at the Institute at the in- for Stem Cell Biology. <laughs> Sorry. 
and regenerative <laughs> medicine in Bangalore, India. You better say, you better say it again without me laughing again. So also, I didn't realise that you were waiting for me to give the whole title. Okay, so okay. Again. This is, the bloopers is going to be longer than the actual show. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, it was Subramanian Ramaswamy at the Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine in mm. Bangalore, India. Okay. So that's that's the international team then. Yeah, and I think it was someone on her team or his team, whoops, uh, who tasted it and said that it was tasted like yeah. nothing. So. Points to another source uh, of constantly battling microbes, our guts. Tell us about this. Mm. Yeah. Um... Uh, enthusiastically, <laughs> Prue. <laughs> that was the worst uh. intro ever. Tell us about this. <laughs> so fucking hell. What okay. do you want? Um, start again. You start sprung again. this on there me you. five minutes before we did the show. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. Okay. Tell Calm us about down. it. Yeah, he, he, you know, he wasn't thinking one day I'll be standing here in Copenhagen. Oh, sorry, not Copenhagen. Where is it? Where are the bloody prizes done? <laughs> Shit. Uh, Oslo, aren't they? <laughs> no, no. It's oh, no, that's sweet. the um, Peace Prize. Um, is it Stockholm? Stockholm. Yeah, um, no, it no. is Stockholm. Yeah, okay, so start again. You know, he Mark, was... edit that out and make us look smart. <laughs> <laughs> Copenhagen, Jesus Christ, wrong country. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, the um, thing is, this is actually not something that's particularly unique um a lot of plants have these sorts of what they're called as a sugar nectary sorry sorry a sugary nectar sorry start again oh, fucking clown marcos. <laughs> yeah marcos thanks <laughs> you don't have to yell at marcos he knows i know i do it just a bit because <laughs> it seems to bear a similar kind of structure right. but they've they tried them they used them on um Oh, sorry, my phone's going off and it keeps on making noise. <laughs> Is that what that was? Yeah. Shh, Jesus Christ. Okay, off. Right. <laughs> now, where was that? And there's also obviously the link to us. You know, when did our common ancestors, you know, start doing the same thing? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. But if we're evolved from monkeys, why are there still <laughs> monkeys? Uh, sorry. 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 Go put yourself in the bin, Ed. Seriously. <laughs> It had to be. <laughs> that wasn't mean, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, no, it wasn't mean at all. No. <laughs> no, it was entirely warranted. No, I'm with you on that. <laughs> if you hadn't been following the SpaceX program, at least, you know, with some degree of interest, you may have pictured that there were actual red dragons making decisions <laughs> about this program, which I think is actually pretty cool. Yeah, this yeah, is a Game of Thrones spoiler here. This is... <laughs> it's not... Yeah. And that, well, if it was, you know, at least two-thirds of the dragons would be dead by the end of the oh. season. But anyway. Um, <laughs> and one of them would have very nice boobs. Um, but, yeah, the... the uh, I lost my train of thought, yeah. actually. Mark, yeah. let's edit that bit out, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it. Please. Um... Spraying out a big cloud of uh, virus particles. Thank you for that contribution, Charlie Bear. Hold that thought. <laughs> yeah, wow, Marco, Marcos, Marcos, is, Marcos just is just worse. trying to get him. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to have to come back in a second. I'm just going to go and get him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? My God, he's just going back to his... What? <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like someone is um, is pulling the balloon tight so that it makes that you know noise. <laughs> yeah. Instead of sitting on my couch watching reruns of Friends, is there any truth to this claim that chocolate is beneficial for our brains and our memory? Before, Before we go, go there, is there is there any truth? To <laughs> friends that you watch seriously, Friends, friends? friends? dude. <laughs> If actually it was a uh, house of cards that I've been uh, marathoning all weekend. That's better. But... Now let's have a look at, uh, at a bacterial story, uh, Shane. Do you want to tell us about the supernova ash discovered in the fossils created by bacteria? That's all of those. I understand all the words. I do not understand that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I have um, to confess, look, I felt the same about it, Ed, so I'm listening. I'm, um, I, look, I'm not entirely sure I get it all up myself because this all right, is good. not my... You come here is, for the expert well, commentary. Okay, so, okay, so <laughs> no, no. Basically, I'm, you know, I'm a bacteria... Well, I'm an old bacteriologist. Um, Lucas is the guy who likes the science, the, the, the space stuff, well, you and Lucas, Ed. And mm-hmm. um, 
depends the um, geologist. So, in a way, why this is formed to me, I have no freaking idea. But anyway, I'll, I'll give it the best. I, I'll, I'll do the I, best I can. I can tell you why, Shane. Because <laughs> you said it. you wanted to yeah, talk about yeah, it. I read it and I was like, oh, this I, is hard. <laughs> Feeds as they go through different mediums. So, using this information, they've been able to test one of the theories of the distribution of matter in the universe and found that it actually matches up. What, what is that? <laughs> what is that noise? What's that noise? <laughs> uh, is that my dishwasher? Was it like a gurgle? Uh, yes. yes, it was a gurgle. It sounded like you flushed the toilet or something. I'm like, that was a bit inte- intimate, Penny. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> dishwasher. There it goes again. That's okay. With Zencaster, you've got that separate track, so we'll be able to mute that. We won't yeah, be able to mute sorry. everyone going, what the oh, hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, Michael. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, I think it's actually it's my computer's fan uh, going crazy. Uh, I can't do much about it at the moment. <laughs> but, sorry. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Joe, are you there? Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> Joe! Oh, hang on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, okay. yes, yes! I, I, accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally sat on the mute button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask! <laughs> my, new, my new headset mic's got this little like um, remote thing attached to it, and I didn't notice that it was underneath me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay. Hi, Marcus. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you were right. He's going to have difficulty keeping a straight face about this episode. Hi, Blooper Reel. <laughs> yeah. Okie <laughs> dokie. All right. Get my serious mm. face on. Okay. Okay. We're in the so. Zone. Um, and there was something that I was going to say, and then you distracted me with that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Um, but, um, no, I fucking completely lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it'll oh. come to you right in the middle of someone else's story. Oh, probably. As soon as we finish, it'll like, oh, that's all right. Fuck it. Yeah, everyone, come back. I've got to do it again. <laughs> no. Sort of two regions, uh, Papua mm. New Guinea... And uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, how the fuck do you say that? Oh, Is it Cote no d'Ivoire? Or well, Ivory know. Coast? I, I would say Ivory Coast because I do not have any ability for access. <laughs> Marcos, edit this bit out too. <laughs> Perhaps we'll just hear Marcos's voice just saying it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But these snakes are not attacking kind of snakes. These snakes, oh, this rattle can be for a defense as well so it's a good thing if you say hey i'm gonna bite you then whatever is attacking the snake can piss off and sorry <laughs> can exit the area sorry marcos <laughs> and get out of the way before the snake has to expend the energy with the bite and so on shane lucas penny thank you both for another great show always a pleasure no worries Thanks, Ed. Thank you all for another Thank great show. Thank you both, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fuck off. It's last week's Isn't script, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Don't take it personally. Oh, thank you, Ed. This episode was edited with thought and precision by Marcos Benamou. And thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. Sorry, I... Took you guys by surprise with the thank you at the end. <laughs> no, I was waiting for Penny to yes. say thank you to you. So I, and then I think we both said it. <laughs> no. Oh, is they said it at the same time? <laughs> ah, but with, with Marcos's thought and precision, he can actually move our responses. To he can work stacked. wonders. He's very good at what he does. <laughs> and of course, thank you, Penny and Lucas. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I just I didn't know what to say. You usually say always a pleasure. I, I'm, just, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. I'm oh, sorry this is dragged on. Poor Penny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just been blathering. No, 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 it's my own fault. No, it's 
<laughs> well, it's not Mostly my Joe's fault. fault. <laughs> no, no, it's my children's fault. That'll that'll learn you. Yeah. It's Joe's internet's fault. This episode was edited with intellectual rigor and testicular gymnastics by Marcos <laughs> Benemer. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. Testicular awesome. gymnastics? Yeah, well, I thought I'd throw that one in. What is that even? I don't, I'll show you a picture one day. Um, <laughs> don't Google it, don't Google it. <laughs> I don't know. This episode was edited with Righteous Indignation by Marcos Benemer. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. Would that righteous indignation have been over my pronunciation of that? Uh, <laughs> that <telescope>? Almost certainly. <laughs> <laughs> you called it what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for the slack to just blow up in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was edited with grace and ingenuity by Marcos Benamu. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll be back again next week, putting science on top of the agenda. Join us then. He'll need more than grace and ingenuity for that one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, a very long bloopers episode. <laughs> cool. Sorry, Penny, we kind of drowned you out with all the space stuff and all the other stuff. Oh, and no, that's okay. You had that little story in there. That's okay. I was <laughs> listening to it all. I just forgot to unmute myself. Like, why is everyone ignoring me? Oh, oh really? really? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's Typical men. <laughs> but, no, it's a pleasure. Like I say, I'd be quite happy to come and talk to you guys whenever you want someone who can waffle for three quarters of an hour without breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, we just go to Lucas for that, but it's great to have another. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll, I'll wear that one. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's the love of astronomy. It takes That's us all it. like that, right, Lucas? Exactly. exactly right. Join us then. Good luck with that, Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, dude. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Join us then. Cool. Do we seem to make more mistakes now that Mark? Has <laughs> <laughs> it just seems we're so, so for, very often going. Oh fuck! Sorry, Mark. Oh, sorry. Well, 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 for a while we were quite. I don't think so. We seem to be a bit more professional, and then just tonight was just. Next year is going to be uh, very interesting, from a uh, post-truth point of view. <laughs> but uh, we'll deal oh, with God. that next year. Of course, you can get all the uh, information on the stories we talked about today at scienceontop.com. Oh, my. Yes. 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 Ed. This is not good. There you can find Ed. ways to get in touch Ed, with come us back, Ed. spread the word on social media and leave Every a review on iTunes. Hello, Ed. Uh, thanks for joining oh, us today. I really hope Lucas Ed's got Ed. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone Ed. fucking hear uh, me? I, I get the feeling like Ed's going to come back swearing like, like a... And, um, Joe, you're really echoing oh, really? on my end. I don't know if it's just... Yeah, you are echoing on mine. Is that off? It just, it just cropped up in the yeah, last story. Is that any better? Yeah. No. No, same. I can't have lost connection to the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my Man. God. Hello. But it still says recording in... Oh, but there's no little... Yeah. yeah, there's no control for the recording. Oh, God. So what's going to happen? I'm not sure. Charlie Bear just, just fired. You, but you guys... Look... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Feed that <laughs> I'm gonna quote that. Awesome. Oh my god, Joe, you're like Okay, with your so echo, weird. your giggle sounds. Oh my so god. Bizarre. Oh fuck, that sounds like a Oh, hello. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, so Hello. Guys, you wanna hang on just a sec. I'm gonna see whether the, our recording should also be on our machines right yeah, now. Yours will be fine, right? So, say again. Yours well. will be fine. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, once we drop out of this, yeah, Ed can't get the says, recording. Yeah. Join us then. Fuck. Thank fuck that's over. <laughs> It was a fun episode, though. I got to say, it was. <laughs> Shane, what a perfect send off for you on your uh, last episode before you go away. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I'm glad we've got that out oh of the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. No, stop oh apologising. Like... Uh, it was a tough night for all of us.